Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Merry Devil of Edmonton and we are getting very close to the end. We get to hear from Sir Ralph Yearningham today in Act 5, Scene 1. So Sir Ralph and Sir Arthur Clare most recently were riding through the woods trying to find Millicent who had been broken out of a prison but then Brian stopped them because he thought that there were deer hunters but Brian was on the side of Millicent getting out of the nunnery. He wants to help her to actually marry Mount Chenzi. Um, so he stopped Sir Arthur Clare and Sir Ralph Yearningham and was like, you guys are stealing my deer. And they're like, we don't know what you're talking about. Where's my daughter? All of that sort of fun stuff. And then there was also a lot of talk of ghosts being seen. And at least one of those ghosts was just a man asleep on the porch. But there might have been other ghosts in the local graveyard and all of that sort of thing around. Because remember, Peter said that he was going to call on some ghosts and spirits. And also, Peter has been in disguise as Friar Hildersham and Raymond Mountchenzi has been in disguise as Friar Benedict. So we've got all we've got disguises, we've got deceptions, we've got people being waylaid, we've got all sorts of diversions going on. And, we, and at the top of Act 5, Scene 1, we have Sir Arthur Clare and Sir Ralph Yearningham, and they're talking, they're like, you know, how's everything from last night? And um, Sir Arthur is like, you know, all that, that riding out late at night, it, it makes me tired. And Sir Ralph Yearningham is like, Sir Arthur, Sir Arthur, care go with those days. Let him even go together. Let him go. Tis time, in faith, that we were in our graves when children leave obedience to their parents, when there's no fear of God, no care, no duty. Well, well nay. Nay, it shall not do. It shall not. No, Mountchenzi, thou here on it, thou shalt, thou shalt, in faith. I'll hang thy son if there be a law in England. A man's child ravished from a nunnery. This is rare. Well, well, there's one gone for Friar Hildersham. So, Ralph Yearningham is not happy. He wanted his son to be able to marry Millicent, but Millicent has escaped from the nunnery. And he's like, you know, what's the point in, in living anymore? We should just retire. We should just, you know, roll over and be dead in our graves if our children aren't paying attention to us anymore, if people aren't afraid of God or propriety or all these sorts of things. And then he, he sort of curses Mount Chenzi from afar. And then he notices that Friar Hildersheim is coming in. now. This is the actual Friar Hildersham. This is not Peter Fable in disguise. So the actual Friar comes in and they start laying into him. They're like, how can you let somebody be stolen from a nunnery? And the Friar's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And they're like, didn't we come and talk to you the other day? And he's like, no, you didn't. He's like, and didn't my son go and confess to you the other day? He's like, no, he didn't. And, and didn't you send Friar Benedict to receive confession from one of the young lady, new young ladies at the nunnery? And the friar is like, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. The more you say, the less I understand what you're talking about. And Friar Benedict can back me up. So he calls Friar Benedict in. And again, this is the real Friar Benedict. This is not... Mount Chenzi in disguise, the real friar comes in and Friar Hildersham says to him, he's like, did you, did I send you to go take confession from somebody at the nunnery? And he's like, no, this is the first that I've seen you in a couple of days. So they're totally confused, completely flummoxed. And Yearningham is like, all right, we, we got to get host Blake in here. He'll know what was going on. And he calls for the Chamberlain, who's the guy who like runs the inn that they're standing in front of. And he's like, go get your, go get your master. And the Chamberlain's like, well, I don't know if he's up yet. And he's like, well, you told me that host Blake was up. And the Chamberlain's like, yeah, but I don't know if my master's up. And they're like, wait a second. This isn't even, this isn't even the George Inn that we're standing in front of. And that's the end of the scene. So in in their confusion with all of these revealed personalities and, and so-and-so in disguise and miscommunications and everything like that, they're so lost and confused that they're not even standing in front of the building that they think they're standing in front of. And the Chamberlain's like, oh, weird, our sign is gone. <laughs> and that's the end of the scene. So things have gotten very silly and out of hand, but we really only have a scene to go, scene-ish to go so things are going to have to get wrapped up pretty soon and come on back tomorrow as we work on doing that. I'll see you then. Mwah.